First of all, I must congratulate our Chief Minister, Tato Patengi Abang Johari, our Deputy Chief Minister, Tato Ama Douglas Uga, and our Local Government Minister, Tato Sri Dr. Sim Kui Hien, for doing a splendid job in controlling COVID-19 pandemic in Sarawak. Much respect and kudos to the Sarawak Disaster Management Committee team and our brave doctors, nurses and the medic medical support groups who are fighting COVID-19 on a daily basis from the front lines. As COVID-19 rages on, we in Sarawak are grateful that we do not have as many cases in, as in Sabah and West Malaysia. We pray that such a situation will continue for us Sarawakians. Recently, I went to a mass swabbing of COVID-19 Kampong Hajibaki to give my moral support for the frontliners and the people who voluntarily came forward to be tested. And I would like to share with you my experience. The frontliners were clad in PPE, personal protective equipment, and had many layers of gloves on. I know it must be very uncomfortable and hot under all that protective gear. These frontliners are in, indeed our unsung heroes. We should salute them and be proud of them for their diligent hard work, putting their work first to save lives and to prevent further spread of this pandemic. The PPE equipment they brought into work to lessen the burden of the people shows their high commitment to their jobs. They were there just because one or two persons started to be tested positive for COVID. In my own experience, I feel so touched and appreciative of what all the frontliners and volunteers have been doing for my Kampong Hajibaki community. And I'm especially thankful to Rela, Bomba, and not forgetting volunteers, the Tua Kampong, Penghulu, and other teams, NGOs who help with food distribution and responses to queries. The police who look after the roadblocks 24 hours a day deserve special mention here. We are all grateful for everyone's hard work and we know that the number of COVID cases are kept low because of their dedication and professionalism. I must admit, after hearing what our members from uh, Pending, honourable members from Pending, Kota Sentosa, and uh, and uh, from Tanjong Batu. There was no one way. There was no one solution that can solve everything. We cannot solve everything. But I would like to say here that my Kampong Haji Baki experience, after seeing how. Kampong Hajibaki folks were doing during their lockdown. It's not just money alone that solves all the problem. I must thank them for their cooperation to stay at home, to help themselves and everyone around them in order to stop this virus. Their commitment to do so. I also wish to take the opportunity to thank the many kind-hearted people in Kuching who have helped by contributing in cash and in kind to assist the people in Kampong Hajibaki. I have never been more amazed and touched by the amount of food and aid that has been, been pouring in, into Hajibaki even right now as I'm talking to you, to all of you, the assistance 
the food. And so the people of Hajibaki is very lucky to have all this help, apart from help from the government. And in these 14 days, there is no money from the government to be given to the people. But instead, and because there was no money being given to the people, the community, the entire community in Kuching did their very best. They cared, they showed that they cared and they loved the people in Hashibaki. They came up with all kinds of food to help feed the whole of Hachibaki, 4,200 people. This caring attitude for others has become such a normal practice among us Sarawakians, and especially during tough times like COVID-19 pandemic. We Sarawakians have certainly developed a deep-seated culture of looking one after another, regardless of race or religion. And it is, it is something we should continue to nurture, value, and strive for. And with that, I can't express how important these temporary measures for reducing the impact of coronavirus is. Uh, at these uh, crucial times, and I support this, uh, uh, this bill. Thank you very much, Dr. Speaker.